Alright, so good morning, good night, good afternoon. So, this is a new video on nautical theory, and I'm on my way to the pool right now because I want to show you allergies kicking my behind right now. Um, so, that part being said, I'm on my way to the pool right now. So, right now, I'm on my way to the pool. So, I have this little selfie stick, like, you know, a little selfie stick over here. So, I'm on my way to the pool. I'm going to show you. Uh, the number one essential thing that every sailor and non-sailor has to do so it's called the brush stroke right so i'm going to show you how it's done so in this video i'm going to show you how to do the brush stroke for uh essential sailing reasons and non-essential sailor reasons like you don't have to be a sailor to be do this if you're learning how to swim that's not sailing or boating related that's fine as well so this is essential that you have to learn this it's the easiest stroke you could ever do. It doesn't require much breathing. It doesn't require much heavy movement. This is the common stroke that everyone needs to learn. So it's like a doggy paddle, but it's an organized doggy paddle. So you look like a frog when you're swimming in the water, the breaststroke. It's something that everyone has to do. You don't have to be a professional swimmer or a professional mariner, a professional sailor like myself. You don't have to do that but at least you'll learn the stroke and it can save your life or it can save your kid's life or it can save someone else's life. So as we continue, I'm gonna demonstrate in the pool. All right, folks, so I'm gonna demonstrate how the breaststroke is. So on the next clip, you're just gonna see, you're just gonna hear a voiceover of how I do the breaststroke. I've been swimming for years and um, I won championships at high school for swimming. So I won um, the national state tournament in high school and um and then when i went seafaring for the first time not professionally but like for recreational and cruising purposes um like cruise lines and all that stuff um i even taught taught like some people i even had some jobs that i taught some people how to swim but anyway on the next clip i'm gonna show you in the chair of how it's done and i'm gonna show you inside of the pool right there so all right guys next clip So as I demonstrate this real quick, so this is how the breaststroke will work. So um, think of it like a frog. So you see how a frog swims or how you will lay down and swim forward. So this is the most easiest stroke that anyone, all shapes and sizes can do it. All genders can do it. Now, the thing is, look at the first part. Look how my legs and my arms is simultaneously in sync. If you look at my legs and look at my arms, it is moving in sync. So you see how in sync is? So this is what I want you to do. Step number one, when you, before you go inside of the water, I want you to practice this motion. It's gonna look very retarded and very retardant in a sense, but trust me, when you get into the water and use a stroke, it's gonna be worth the while of it. So if you look again, from all sides and angle, the front angle, the left, sorry, port side and starboard side, that's left side and that's right side. Look how my arms and my legs, my knees and my arms mostly is moving in sync. Every time my arm moves forward and moves backwards, my knees do the same thing. It's one motion. That's gonna be hard is because we're not used to doing things one motion. We're used to doing things in two different motion. Now, look how I'm laying down. This is the laying down version of this look how i am moving in sync every time my arms and my hands move my feet and my thighs and my knees move as well so um i should have put the chair down more more down so you can see it more but that is how the breaststroke is done so repeat this video over and over again now on the next one so this is when i get inside of the pool so yes i know i look a little sexy i know um like I wear Speedos, so don't judge me. So I wear Speedos, and the reason why I'm showing the back right here is because this position you're supposed to jump inside of the pool. But in this case, the pool is like three feet, so like um, there's no diving in this type of pool. But the next pool, when I do the next video that goes under the water, uh, the underwater surface version, when I put my camera under the water with a plastic bag over it, um, I'm gonna show you the inside version of how breaststroke is from the bottom view of the water so this is the surface version now um because the rule says you're supposed to walk inside of the ladder 
Um, there's nine feet on the other side, but I didn't really feel like doing that. So I just wanted to show how this is. Now, you see how my arms are moving? Just remember your my arms are moving. So in YouTube or in other video platforms, you could slow it down. So remind you, your arms, stab straight, put your elbows behind you, stab straight. So you're stabbing backwards, stabbing back, stabbing back. Now, as you see that motion from the last video, so if you want to repeat it and rewind it, you can. Look how my arms and my legs are moving in sync. So your knees and your arms has to move at once. It has to move in sync me. It cannot move separately. It has to be in sync. So make sure the word in sync. Your stab back, stab back. You're stabbing the air and you're backing off and you're doing the same motion over and over again. So try this at home. Please try this at home at a dry environment. Look how my arms is stabbing and going back. Look how my elbows is going way out back right there. Now you're gonna see in this version over here, um, in a closer version, make sure you wear safety goggles. You, you wear goggles when you're in a pool or in a salt water environment because you wanna be safe. If the water gets in the ears, I would recommend to get earplugs. I would recommend to do that. Um, so absolutely, I would recommend to do that. Um, you don't have to wear Speedos. I just personally chose Speedos because, you know, I'm a professional mariner and I was a professional swimmer back in my high school days and I'm used to wearing Speedos and thongs. So I'm used to wearing it. Um, also, the ladies like it as well. But anyway, it's not for the ladies really, but, but it just makes me go faster. But the point is, you see how I went back. So I'm going to demonstrate one more time. So I'm backstroking, but it's not a backstroke video. This, this is a breaststroke video. I'm going to demonstrate one more time of that motion. So repeat the video from the beginning and copy the motion on dry land. Now, this is how it looks like in water. You see how I stab forward? I stab forward. And with the brush stroke, it's the easiest stroke because you don't have to do a lot of breathing in the water. You don't have to do that. So now there's another angle of how you see it. So there's above surface. The next video, the new video, next video is gonna be under the surface when I get my uh, my underwater camera. But anyway, I'm gonna demonstrate one more time that same motion. What I want you guys to really focus on is the motion, the motion of my arms and my knees and how my body is moving. I'm swimming like a tadpole. Now, if you choose to go your face under the water, you can do that if you wanna go faster, but you don't have to do that. The breaststroke does not really require for you to put your face under the water. You could be above the water. So if you guys know how to do doggy paddle, instead of you doggy paddle with your arms looking like a like a helpless dog, put your stab your arms forward and put your put your elbows sharp back and then do a circular motion. So your whole body must do a circular motion. That's how the breaststroke is done. So as a result, you see the brushstroke and you see how it works. And um, this is above surface version of the brushstroke. And therefore, um, every sailor, non-sailor, people in general has to learn this stroke. This is the most easiest stroke you can ever do. So it's the easier swimming technique that you can ever do. So, as a result, anyone can do the stroke. Because anyone can do it, it's really easy. Because when you go out to sea, it's much more rougher than a swimming pool. But at least you have a high chance of survival. Even though you have a life jacket, but learning the stroke will increase your chances of survival. So it's a heavy increase. Now that part being said, as this video ends, I want to thank you for guys for liking, sharing, subscribing for my YouTube channel, follow my social media. And I am tired and I'm about to go to sleep. But first, let me end this with a backstroke. Well, relaxing one. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna float, so.
Sorry, no, guys. Sorry, no.